we often sing the carol Silent Night, Holy Night, All is Calm, All is Bright. This world longs for peace. Down through the centuries there have been wars and battles, one country fighting with another, or one part of the world at war with the other. Our countries try to work hard together to keep peace and stability between each other. However, it doesn't matter how hard they work together, there is always a lack of peace somewhere within our world. We lack peace even in our families. We lack peace in our workplace. We lack peace within our churches. We lack peace within our own souls. Our human definition of peace is to put a stop to conflict. Where there is conflict, there is no peace. However, the word that is used in the Old Testament for peace is so much more than that. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom, and not only is it used to talk of peace in the world, but the word itself also pictures health and wholeness. It denotes harmony and completeness. To have shalom is to have not only a peaceful life, but also to be fulfilled in every way. But as we look at this verse here in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, we see something wonderful, something very comforting which was predicted would happen. It says in verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. A day would come when the Prince of Shalom, or Peace, would be born. That person who could bring fulfilment to each of our lives. Where there is contentment, then there is peace. The contentment we can have is having Christ as our Saviour. He brings peace, fulfilment and completeness to our souls. He doesn't offer a temporary solution, but the salvation which he offers makes an eternal difference where there is forever peace between us and God. So how does Christ fulfill his title as Prince of Peace? Firstly, he is the one who brings peace between God and man. Without Christ in our lives, we do not have peace with God. We have been separated from God because of sin which entered the world through Adam and Eve. But God promised a Messiah. Someone would come who would be the saviour of the world. Secondly, he makes peace in this life possible because of his saving work. The peace that we can have is the knowledge that a day is coming when we will be in this world no longer and we will be in the presence of Jesus in heaven. For the here and now, we must continue to live in this world and Jesus tells us to expect tribulation and difficult times but also to remember that God is still in control and we can take our confidence from that. This Prince of Peace, born as a baby boy, made his way into the cross in order to complete his saving work so that we could have peace with God. That is indeed the true meaning of Christmas. Thirdly, he will complete peace perfectly when he comes again. As we think about this message of peace, we also want to talk about a day which will come when Jesus will fully complete his work of peace. Of course, living in this world today as a Christian, we have peace in our hearts that we are Christians. But the Bible tells us of a day when every tear will be wiped away. What a day that's going to be. As Christians, this Christmas time should not only uh, remind us of the time of Jesus' birth, but we should also remember what is still to come. The birth of Jesus was coming, was the coming of the Messiah for the first time to the earth, but there will be a second coming of the Lord. When he comes the second time, he is not coming as a baby like before, but he will come in all his glory and majesty, and he will take all the believers to heaven to be with him there forever. This is the final peace we as believers will experience in heaven with Christ. What is your source of peace this Christmas? I trust that you have peace in your heart through knowing the one true and living Saviour, the Prince of Peace, 
Jesus Christ.